Good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for clicking on 5 News Web News. It's Thursday, May 9th. I'm Brittany Hoke. And I'm Matt Heckel, and here are some of the top stories we've been following today here on 5 News. A man's body was found in the Tiger River yesterday. Yeah, four construction workers apparently spotted the body. They told us off camera that they thought it was an animal before realizing it was actually a man's body. Emergency workers quickly pulled the body out of the river just minutes later. The medical examiner was called to the scene and the body has been sent to the state medical examiner's office for an autopsy. Officers said they're not sure if foul play is involved. A few people gathered around the area. Many of them said they, they were shocked that this was happening. I saw uh, the ambulance and law enforcement and all that down there and I pulled out the top of the hill and, and watched. And I guess, uh, you know, things happen anywhere, but uh, don't, don't know the circumstances of him. Uh, his disappearance or how long he'd been going or, and I really didn't know the fellow but uh, it's a uh, it's kind of a tragedy and officers told us they don't think the body was in the water for too long they are still not releasing the man's name or age but as soon as we hear anything new we'll be sure to let you know and police have arrested the or rather released the name of a young man who was killed in an accident in Randolph County on Tuesday. Deputies told us 18 year old Brent Llewellyn was driving on Route 32 between Harmon and Dry Fork when he lost control of his car, veered off the side of the road and flipped. Llewellyn died on scene. And an accident on I-79 in Mon County still under investigation after a man was killed while changing a tire. Now we're told Michael Schreiner and another man were changing a tire on a pickup truck Tuesday just a little past the Star City exit. That's when Schreiner was hit by a tractor trailer heading north. His friend only suffered minor injuries and police say the driver of the tractor trailer wasn't hurt. And a little boy is still recovering after being accidentally run over by his mother at a GOMAR in Bridgeport on Tuesday. Investigators say the boy got out of the car without the mother knowing and sat on the ground. The woman then got in the car and drove away, running over her child. The mother only went a few feet when she realized and got her son from under the bumper. Officials say he was in serious condition Tuesday night, but they do not think his injuries are life-threatening. And an Upshur County Administrator has issued his resignation, but we're still waiting for a decision from commissioners on whether that resignation will actually be accepted. William Parker sent a letter to commissioners resigning from his position effective yesterday. This morning, commissioners decided to wait to take any action until an executive session. That will take place later this afternoon. The commission president said that he wouldn't be able to comment on the matter until it is resolved. Be sure to stay with 5 News tonight for any further updates. Well, police have filed charges against 52-year-old Ariel Castro. Prosecutors say Castro kidnapped three women and subjected them to a decade of rape, physical, and psychological abuse. Now, a fourth kidnapping charge is included for Amanda Berry's six-year-old girl who was born during her captivity. Two of the women, Amanda Berry and Gina De Jesus, were welcomed home Wednesday. The third woman, Michelle Knight, is still in the hospital in good condition. And an Arizona jury has found Jody Arias guilty of first-degree murder for killing her boyfriend. Police say that Arias shot him in the forehead, stabbed him 30 times, and slit his throat. She claimed that he attacked her and that she was fighting for her life. But prosecutors say that she killed him in a jealous rage after he wanted to end their affair. The sentencing phase will begin on Thursday. Arias says that she prefers the death penalty over life in prison. And before we move on with midday, let's take a look at what our newsroom is working on for tonight for First at 5 and 5 News at 6. First up, we're going to have the latest on the investigation into what led to a body being found in a local river yesterday. Plus, we're going to take an in-depth look at fostering and adopting children. And Chief Meteorologist Ken Meehan will tell us when this rain is expected to just completely get out of the area yes. in your first alert forecast coming up tonight on First at 5 and 5 News at 6. I'm tired of it just, you know, coming back and then going away for a yeah. little bit and then coming back. Just go away. Yesterday we had a nice mix of sun and rain, right. so that was interesting a nice to say one. the least. Yeah, well, I was, I'm being a little facetious out. there. Yeah, it can go away for all I'm concerned. <laughs> uh, that's going to do it for us. Be sure to tune in tonight for First at 5 and 5 News at 6. Until then. Have a great day, everybody.